There are 64 people on death row in the state of Nevada. A Veres Arcanian, 20 years on death row. He murdered Juana Maria Quiroga, 86 years old, and her daughter, Elisa del Prado, who was 65 years old. This happened in 2003 at a downtown Las Vegas jewelry store. The women owned that store. Sterling Atkins, 28 years on death row. In 1994, he kidnapped and murdered Ebony Mason. Her body was found in a desert outside Las Vegas. Keith Barlow, 5 years on death row. Back in 2013, he murdered his ex-girlfriend, Danielle Woods, along with her new partner, Donnie Cobb. Jeremiah Bean, 8 years on death row. In 2013, he went on a murderous rampage, leaving 4 people dead on Mother's Day. John Beharano, 35 years on death row. Two years prior to his conviction, in 1987, he shot and killed Roland Wright twice in the head. The victim was a cab driver from Reno, and Beharano used a sawed-off rifle to kill him. Norman Belcher, 7 years on death row. In 2010, he shot and killed a 15-year-old Alexis Postorino. The child was shot four times at close range. Arthur Baraja, 28 years on death row. A year prior to his conviction, in 1994, he murdered teenagers Deborah Michelle Ferris and her boyfriend Christopher True Payton. The two were on a camping trip near Sunrise Mountain. James Biela, 13 years on death row. In 2008, he kidnapped, essayed, and murdered Brianna Dennison. She was a student at the University of Nevada in Reno. Alfonso Blake, 19 years on death row. In 2003, he shot and killed Sophia Choi, who was just 19 years old, and her friend Priscilla Von Dyne, who was 22 years old. Gregory Bolin, 27 years on death row. In 1995, he kidnapped, essayed, and murdered video store employee Brooklyn Ricks. David Bollinger, 29 years on death row. He kidnapped and murdered James and Rose Vertress. He set their bodies on fire. Timothy Burnside. 13 years on death row. In 2006, he shot and killed Kenneth Hardwick, a professional basketball player, as he was waiting in a drive-thru. Robert Byford, 25 years on death row. In 1991, he shot and killed 18-year-old Monica Wilkins. He then burned her body in the desert. William Castillo, 27 years on death row. In 1995, he broke into the home of Isabel Burnt, who was 86 years old. He robbed her home, then bludgeoned her to death. James Chappell, 27 years on death row. He murdered Deborah Panos, his ex-girlfriend, during a robbery. Antonio Doyle, 29 years on death row. He participated in the kidnapping and killing of Ebony Mason in 1994. Rodney Emil, 35 years on death row. He shot and killed Charles Emil, his stepfather. Dale Flanagan, 38 years on death row. In 1984, he shot and killed both his grandparents, Carl and Colleen Gordon. Zane Floyd, 23 years on death row. In 1999, he murdered four Albertson employees. He also injured the fifth one. Carlos Gutierrez, 28 years on death row. In 1994, he murdered his stepdaughter, Mylene, who was just three years old. Richard Haberstraw, 36 years on death row. In 1986, he kidnapped Donna Kitowski, who was 20 years old. He choked and killed her. Brian Hall, 11 years on death row. In 2009, he beat and strangled Brad Flam, who was 27 years old. He also slit his throat. Tamir Hamilton, 15 years on death row. In 2006, he essayed and then murdered Holly Quick, who was only 16 years old. Amar Harris, 7 years on death row. In 2013, he murdered three people and injured the fourth one. Fernando Hernandez, 24 years on death row. In 1999, he stabbed, strangled, essayed, and mutilated Donna Hernandez, his ex-wife. All this happened in the presence of their three-year-old daughter. James Hill, 40 years on death row. In 1983, he essayed and murdered Altonia Matthews inside her house. He was found incompetent to understand why he was sentenced to death back in 2002, so he's not eligible for execution. Michael Hogan, 38 years on death row. In 1984, he shot Heidi Hinckley and her teenage daughter. 
Heidi passed away, but her daughter fortunately survived. Gregory Hover, 10 years on death row. In 2010, he shot and killed Julio Romero and kidnapped Prisma Contreras, who was 21 years old. Samuel Howard, 40 years on death row. In 1980, he shot and killed George Monoham, who was a dentist. Howard robbed the victim of just $2. He was also found incapable of understanding why he got the capital punishment. Therefore, he is not eligible for the execution. Ralph Jeremiah's, nine years on death row. In 2009, during a robbery, he shot and killed two people, Paul Stevens and Brian Hudson. His sentence was overturned in 2021, and a new trial is supposed to happen. Dante Johnson, 19 years on death row. In 1998, he shot and murdered four men in a house in Las Vegas. William Keck, 12 years on death row. In 2008, he shot his ex-wife in the stomach, which caused her to lose the baby she was carrying. He also shot and killed Jonathan Lestel, the woman's boyfriend. Jimmy Kirksey, 33 years on death row. In 1998, he beat a man to death. He was found ineligible for the execution because of his low IQ. William Leonard, 34 years on death row. In 1987, he was serving a sentence for killing three people when he stabbed another inmate to death. Kevin Lill, 28 years on death row. In 1994, he killed two 19-year-olds, Kip Logan and Justin Lush. Bo Mestas, 17 years on death row. In 2003, he paralyzed a 10-year-old girl and he killed her 3-year-old sister by stabbing her. Robert McDonnell, 20 years on death row. He essayed a woman and then he shot and killed the woman's fiancé, Brian Pierce. Charles McNelton, 30 years on death row. In 1989, he shot and killed teenager Monica Glass, who was just 16 years old. David Middleton, 25 years on death row. In 1995, he murdered two women, schoolteacher Catherine Powell and casino worker Thelma Davila. Randolph Moore, 38 years on death row. In 1984, he participated in the murders of Colleen and Carl Gordon alongside Dale Flanagan, who was also sentenced to death. Michael Mulder, 24 years on death row. In 1996, he broke into 77 years old John Ahart's house. He robbed the house and murdered the victim. Avram Nika, 28 years on death row. He murdered Edward Smith, a man who was kind enough to stop and help Nika when he noticed him having troubles with his car. He was found ineligible for execution, but he is still on death row. Eugene Nunnery, 15 years on death row. In 2006, he shot and killed three people. Tracy Petrocelli, 41 years on death row. First convicted in 1982 for shooting and killing three people in the span of six months. Since then, he had a second trial in 2019, but he got the death penalty once more. Kittrich Powell, 32 years on death row. In 1989, he murdered a four-year-old Malia Allen by beating her to death. Charles Randolph. 23 years on death row. In 1998, he murdered bartender Shelley Loken during a robbery. Thomas Randolph, 5 years on death row. In 2008, he murdered his sixth wife and another man who was supposedly a hitman. In 2020, his sentence was overturned, and then he was again sentenced to death. Thomas Richardson, 14 years on death row. In 2005, he murdered two people, Stephen Folker and his 91-year-old grandmother, Estelle Feldman. He fatally beat the victims with a claw hammer. Javier Righetti, six years on death row. In 2011, he essayed and then murdered teenager Alyssa Otremba, who was just 15 years old. Pedro Rodriguez, 24 years on death row. In 1998, he robbed and then killed Kimberly Fondi. The woman was a paraplegic. Mark Rogers, 42 years on death row. In 1980, he shot and stabbed married couple Emery and Mary Strode, who were 71 and 72 years old. He also murdered their 41-year-old daughter, Miriam Treadwell. His sentence was overturned in 2015, and it's pending a new trial that was granted in 2022. Donald Sherman, 26 years on death row. In 1994, he killed retired doctor Lester Bauer, beating him with a hammer. Will Sitton, 7 years on death row. 
In 2009, he murdered 68-year-old Brian Haskell by beating him. His sentence was overturned in 2019, and he was granted a new trial that is still pending. Joseph Smith, 27 years on death row. In 1990, he murdered his stepdaughters. He strangled and beat with a hammer Wendy Cox, 20 years old, and Christy Cox, 12 years old. The tragedy happened inside their home. Michael Sonner, 29 years on death row. In 1993, after he broke out of jail, he murdered the state trooper Carlos Borland by shooting him. Marlo Thomas, 26 years on death row. In 1996, he robbed then killed prep cooks Carl Dixon, 23 years old, and Matthew Janakis, 21 years old, at a steakhouse. Siaosi Vanisi, 24 years on death row. In 1998, he murdered University of Nevada Campus Police Sergeant George Sullivan. He attacked the victim with a hatchet. James Walker, 16 years on death row. In 2000, he stabbed and murdered 33-year-old Christine Anziano outside a drugstore in Las Vegas. John Watson, 13 years on death row. Found guilty of kidnapping and murdering his wife after she disappeared in 2006. His sentence was overturned in 2019 and he is pending trial still on death row. Kerry Williams, 40 years on death row. In 1982, he stabbed and tortured pregnant nurse Catherine Carlson. Edward Wilson, 44 years on death row. In 1979, he murdered police officer James Hodd, who was undercover during a drug sting. William Bitter, 28 years on death row. In 1993, he murdered a married couple and tried to essay the woman. His victims were Catherine Cox and James Cox. He fatally stabbed both of them. Robert Ibarra, 42 years on death row. In 1979, he essayed, beat, and set on fire Nancy Griffith, who was just 15 years old. Please hit that subscribe button if you like my channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.